So I want to talk briefly about builders, home builders, and septic systems. So um, where I live, I've had a few that wanted me to come put systems in for them, uh, and I told them, well, that, you know, this is this is what, how we do it. We have a system, and uh, we actually have a way to send people a form so they can fill everything out we need so that we can get a license or a permit from the state of Oklahoma, which is where I live, to put these systems in. And I've had three builders that, once I told them that, did not call me back. So I also want to protect you as the person that's building the home or the homeowner in realizing that that system has to be permitted by the state of Oklahoma. It is not a county deal. The city, the county, none of those people can stop you from doing any anything or they can't stop me, I should say, because I'm actually licensed by the state, not by the county, not by the city, and only a state officer of the Department of Environmental Quality can tell me what to do with the septic system. Uh, nobody from the county can tell me, nobody from the city can tell me what to do. They have no jurisdiction over that whatsoever. So what I want you to understand is, is you need to make sure that an actual legit septic company installs your system. A licensed septic installer installs your system. Not the builder, not his cousin, not his brother that's done it 50 times. A licensed septic installer. So there's two reasons why. One reason why is when I put a system in as a licensed septic installer, I have to make sure that system actively runs for two years. They are, you're required as an installer to make sure that it is functioning for two years, meaning if it has any manufactured defects, the tanks crack, the pump goes out, a float goes bad, it costs you nothing. I come fix that for nothing. Uh, now, if you ran a trencher through my lines where my power was, I'm not coming to fix that for nothing. If you ran over the sprinkler head, I'm not coming to fix that for nothing. That costs. I will charge you for that. But where I'm going with this conversation is make sure your system is permitted with the state of Oklahoma. Because what happens is, is if it is not, when you go to sell your house and they find out there's not a permit on your septic system, they'll make you dig it up. And you gotta redo that whole thing. And the price of septic systems is not going down. It is going up, especially post COVID. Uh, every, all the prices of all that stuff has gone crazy. So you don't want to get caught in that situation and you sure want to be covered by somebody that is a licensed installer, even if it's somebody's brother or nephew that thinks they can install it. Uh, and I would suggest even because they do get a permit, that's not even the best answer. Uh, and the reason why is because if something goes wrong, the odds of them coming back, they're not a company. They don't, they might not ever come back and help you out if the pump burns up in that first two years. So these are some things to think about when you're having a builder put a system in for you. Thank you.